Hey, what is going on guys? It's Carbon here and today I've got some really important information about Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Now, as you guys know, yesterday there was a patch to it and with the patch there's so many um, changes that are made to the game. They've, you know, they've buffed some of the guns and they've nerfed some of the guns and, you know, just changes to um, equipment, specialist classes. There's so many things they've changed. So I thought I would, I would make a video on this so you guys can, uh, you know, kind of have an idea what's uh, changed. Now, with the patch also, there was... Um, double xp so it is double xp weekend so you guys can go ahead and try and prestige because it takes a while in this game to prestige so this is i guess the best chance for you to prestige as fast as you can so the double xp lasts from uh well it started yesterday but it's gonna last uh until monday uh 10 a.m pacific time so you guys want to try and you know get as much prestigious as you can so yeah good luck with that and that being said guys i'm gonna go ahead and talk about the changes that are made to um call of duty now i'm gonna only go ahead and talk about the important ones here because there's so many things that have changed um i'm gonna put a link in the description it's from activation so it's you know it's all true so you guys can go ahead and check it out for yourselves so i'm gonna talk about the important ones here all right so first of all we're gonna go ahead and talk about specialists okay so in general um, all the specialist weapons and abilities are now charged at a reduced rate over time in objective mode. So you're gonna get them a little bit slower in objective mode. And also, um, let's talk about Outrider. Now, in Outrider's Vision Pulse, ability recharge speed has been slightly reduced. And for the Nomad, um, Rejack ability recharge uh, speed has been slightly increased. And the high trigger radius is slightly reduced so now you gotta be a bit closer to the um the high pods in order for them to you know trigger and also the rejack ability uh recharge speed has been slightly increased so you're gonna get them a little bit faster now for the reaper sight um the ammo count from uh has been decreased from 200 to 160 so that's been nerfed a bit so now you only have 160 bullets instead of the 200 and the fire breaks heat wave ability is uh now recharge speed has also been increased so that's been buffed a bit so you'll get uh heat wave ability a bit faster now that's all for the specialists and let's go ahead and take a look at all the weapons now for all the weapons um let's see here um uh, a fixed an issue where some damage from shotguns were getting reduced when the long barrel attachment was equipped. So apparently, um, there was a problem with when you equip the uh, long barrel attachment, the your damage somehow got um, reduced, and that has been fixed. Apparently, I didn't even know it, that exists, but yeah, well, it's good. And also, um, the quick draw ADS speed uh, bonus for the LMGs has been slightly reduced. Now, the quick draw attachment. Um, the ADS time's been uh, reduced, so that's uh, that's not really good. Um, I, Cause I thought LMGs were fine, but well, yeah, they've changed some things around here. So for the submachine guns, uh, we had the VMP. The VMP has been buffed. Um, ADS time slightly slightly increased to match the other SMGs, and hit fire spread slightly increased to match other SMGs. So that's been you know both the ADS time and the hit fire spread has been matched with the other SMGs. Apparently, it used to be lower than the other ones, so I guess it's a good buff. And for the Faro, um, the close damage range has been slightly reduced. And for the Razorback, damage range is increased. So that's pretty good. Razorback, I thought, you know, in the beta it was a bit too OP. And now uh, with the launch, it wasn't very good. So I guess they kind of uh, buffed it back so that the damage um, in uh, range is increased. So that's good. All right, let's go ahead and talk about Assault Rifles here. So the KN44 fix the ADS view for the insights when uh, or oh, insights what am i saying iron sights when a clan tag or kill counter is attached to the weapon so something about um uh, like the weave ADS view uh, when the clan tag or kill counter is attached that has been fixed and for the XR2 uh, hip fire spread increased to match other assault rifles so that's good and the minor tweak to the fire rate now i don't know when they say minor tweak i don't know if it's been um changed how i'm not really sure i'm gonna have to check it out myself so yeah not sure about that one but um hvk30 that's a good one here increased ability to control recoil that's awesome because i always thought hvk30 had a bit of recoil and uh, now um they have increased the ability to control recoil so that's really good and the icr1 uh fixed an animation issue when the weapon had the varix 3 optic and suppressor attached so i guess that's no big deal here and then finally my favorite and make a seven can you guys believe they actually increased the fire rate which i am super happy about that um M8A7 is already a great gun and they still decided to increase the fire rate. I mean it was it was good. Now this is like gonna be a beast. So because I already tried out a couple of times and it's awesome. And with the rapid fire attachment, it's just you know it's just going crazy. So 
that's good. And then also they fixed an issue with iron sights when the kill counter was attached. So that's whatever. All right, so let's talk about shotguns here. The shotguns, KRM-262, increased lethal range. That's good. Haymaker 12, fire rate and damage range um, slightly reduced. And then Argus, ADS, time increased, close range damage increased. So that's good. Um, let's talk about um, uh, light machine guns, BRM, ADS speed slightly reduced, Dingo, increased ability to control recoil, that's good. Um, Gargon, clip size reduced from 50 to 40, ADS time has been slowed down, no longer deals extra damage to vehicles without uh, FMJ, increased recoil, increased hip fire spread. Wow, that's a lot of changes to that gun. So yeah, you guys might want to go ahead and check that out for yourselves, there's done so many changes to that. And then finally, the 48 Dredge, which is one of my my favorite LMG of all time. Fixed magazine count on extended mag. This was previously ending in one bullet, then playing a six round burst audio when the last bullet was fired. So apparently, if you had the extended mags on it, and uh, when it ended, it would end in one bullet. Um, and then it would still sound like it uh, was a six round burst in audio. So that has been fixed, which is good. And also the slightly increased the ADS time. That's awesome. I love that gun. So it's awesome. They've done a lot of good changes there. All right, so the pistols. Elkar 9, close damage range slightly reduced. Um, that's pretty much it for that. And the equipment here, thermite damage rate reduced. Now takes longer to be killed by thermite. What? Well, I thought I thought thermite was not, that, not very good. I mean, I loved the loved it but it wasn't you know it wasn't very powerful so well they nerfed it all right guys anyways that's it for the shotguns here and then they've done so many changes to maps medals and challenges you guys can take a look at there yourself because like for nuketown they've improved so many things there and also finally i want to talk about these important ones now the leaderboards are now enabled in barracks so you can go ahead and take a look at your leaderboards in barracks and also this is one of the most important players are now awarded crypto keys in arena and public matches after playing the playing consecutive matches in the same playlist so if you if you guys are playing the same same playlist or the same you know game or if you're playing team deathmatch you might want to keep playing uh, team deathmatch and keep winning that way you'll be awarded more crypto keys so you guys want to stick to one specific game mode for a long time before you switch around so don't try and switch around from one game mode to another that way you won't be getting as much uh, crypto keys as you would so and then for general gameplay, there's um, there's a uh, players are now prevented from spawning at the same spawn point uh, when the when they are high player count in free for all and gun games. So they've improved the spawning uh, points, which is good. And also finally, this is a big change too. Search and destroy kill elimination has been changed from 250 XP to 500 XP. So they pretty much doubled the XP there. So right now it's it's awesome. So you, you guys might want it with the double XP. It's gonna be pretty awesome. Um, I guess that's what it's, uh, that's for um, it for this video. There's so many other changes they've done. You guys might want to go ahead and take a look. They've done some changes for zombies as well as campaigns. So yeah, you guys might want to uh, take a look at these by yourself. So that's it for this video guys. Thank you so much for watching and um, please give it a thumbs up if you like this video. I will catch you guys in my next video. Peace out. Don't say a word. I don't want to hear it. <laughs>